People in public health and the scientists have a healthy disrespect or distrust for any of these smoking related products because they've been fooled in the past. They've thought filters were safer and found out mm, they are not. They thought lights were safer and they went, mm, they're not. Um, so they are very uh, resistant to making any public statements about it and they ought to be because it's just too early. And nobody knows what the stuff in the vaporizer is gonna end up doing. But I can share with you the, not conclusions, but the, the, the side of it that is encouraging, and it's this. When people inhale a cigarette, it is the nicotine that makes you smoke too much and overexpose. But the actual thing that causes lung disease and cancer is the burnt tobacco. You've heard of tar. The tar is the goo when you burn at a high, high temperature tobacco and it, le it creates, you put it in addition, it leaves this nasty black goo. That's the tar. It is burning tobacco at a high temperature releases carcinogens and all this tar. And it is the overexposure over time because of overuse from being addicted to nicotine all that tar and the release of the carcinogens is what ends up causing, not, not boom, I got cancer, it doesn't work that way. Over time and a lot of it, you end up getting COPD, lung disease, cancer, heart disease, and the various things you get. Here's the theory that has some encouragement. The vaporizing does not have burnt tobacco. So you are taking the thing we know is so dangerous to inhale over and over out of the equation. So the natural feeling is at this early premature stage is that's got to be better. If don't do it at all, because it's still nicotine, it's highly addictive, and you're breathing it in over and over and over through some little tube with chemicals that are holding this and nobody knows long term what that exposure may create. So no, people are not jumping up and down from public health saying do it, just the opposite. However, given the choice of smoking the cigarette or switching to vaporize, it appears at this point that may be a better, lesser of two evils with one being a question mark and one being an exclamation mark, we know. It's just don't ever forget it's a question mark. And please, folks, don't use it as a reason not to try hard to quit, period.